Ooh, what is going on, everybody? We are back at your boy Samir and today we continue on with our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play episode 24 for you guys. No, that's 42. 24 for you guys. And we're jumping in. We are at the Pokemon League Elite 4. Kick it off while you're jumping in. Let's, let me confirm that you are qualified. Examine your badges. Cold badge, forest badge, cobble badge, fen badge, relic badge, mine badge, ice school badge, and the beacon badge. Let's go. Victory music. I love it. Show that we have succeeded on our journeys. Very well. You've indeed collected all the badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. That's the one thing I do n wish they did different in this game. He just checks your badges. Whereas, like, in... I think I think it was black and white. You had to, like, walk through the posts. And, like, they shined up when you got, like, a, a badge. So, you had to, like, have them all. And you got to go through all the different gates to show that you've got all the badges. It was really cool. I'm going to tell me these just for post matches, I guess. Just in case we got a heal. Got some revives. I'm ready. So, we did a little bit of training. Not much. Just enough so we're not going to be underleveled at the end. But I want to be... Two over level. So we got to 60. Everyone is 60. And Empom was already 61, sadly. So we got everyone to 60. We have an evolved Gligar, sadly. We couldn't get it in time. But we actually want to start him out front with Acrobatic. So I'm keen. This is our team. I'm ready. So the first one is the Bug Elite 4. If you didn't know, some will be using Gligar and probably Ambipom as the main two people. Maybe. I'll probably not. Uh, yeah, probably Gligar. Gligar will carry, honestly. I can probably kill 5 of 5 if I'm lucky. If we are fast, then we manage to kill. But I'm Kane. First Elite Four match. Let's get it. I'm on. Oh, it brings back so many memories. Let's go, Aaron. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know what? It, what? Would you like to know why I take on challenges here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Let's go, Aaron. What you got for me? Oh, let's go! We finally first Elite Four match. Let's get it. It's been a long journey. We're finally here. We were challenged by Elite Four. I'm pretty sure I challenged him, but okay. Elite Four Aaron's now Dust Ox. This should be easy. We should be able to do this. Should be able to do this with five moves, maybe six. Come on, Gligar. You can do this. Acrobatics. So we are high level than these guys, but then by the fourth one, the, the fourth Elite Four, we're actually lower level. We should be the same level as the third one we get there. Fourth one will be the same, if not just lower. And then the Cynthia will be higher than us for sure. I'm assuming. We actually get quite a bit of XP, so maybe I shouldn't have gone so high. Maybe I should have gone 59. But you, you don't know. 60s, I feel like 60 is a good medium. It's halfway between 53 and 66, pretty much. 59 probably would have been perfect. But either way, it's six or seven levels different. So we have to try and find the middle ground, and I thought that would be fair. And like I said, we're only using three full restores. Or, or try and use none. If you absolutely have to, I'll use one. But I'm trying to not use any healing throughout the matches. I know I did say I'll use three, but I don't think I'll need it, especially early on. Maybe for Cynthia, I might. But I'm trying to do it without using uh, heals, if need be. We're eating that up. Gligar, you beat. Imagine if we had a Gligar score. It'd be even easier. Easy kill. Latest Heracross. Got me blitzing through these first one. Maybe two. Possibly three. Four will be a bit harder, I think. Um... And then, obviously, Cynthia is, is cracked. But Vespiquen! A nerve. Okay, I'm not worried about that. You should be. Let's go. Another acrobat. We do have Swords Dance and Knock Off as well if we want to sweep some teams. Maybe you could do that for the Psychic Lady. Oh, we didn't kill... A Psychic Dude, Lucian, sorry. We didn't even kill. And a Berry. So we kill next turn, and they won't have enough health to use a Restore or anything. So it should be good, as long as you don't kill me with this move. What do you got? Defend Order. I still kill. Still killing with Defend Order. I really do like how unique Vespiquen is with defend order and attack order. I think it's very, very cool. Sucks male combi evolves into nothing though. It should have evolved into like a male, like a, maybe a stinger bee. Because this is like the queen bee and then have like a small, not queen bee, but like a small male bee with a stinger. Because like combi obviously is a bee, but like, I don't know, a small evolution for a male type that like serves the queen. 61 for Electivire, that's pretty good. Getting the, these levels. Electric isn't that good for this Elite Four, personally. I know some Elite Fours might have water or something, but this one does not, and it struggles. Earthquake, probably a two-shot kill. We are slow as well. This might crit, and I'll die. That was a crit, yep. Because they have Scope Lens and Sniper and Night Slash and Stab, and it has a high crit chance, so... We might live one more if it doesn't crit. If we crit, it'll be close. Not yet. Your first Pokemon Link victory doesn't come easily. Well, it's come pretty easy so far. I've used one Pokemon. 
And I've used six moves. This is move seven. Don't crit. Oh! Oh, hacks. Oh. I hate it so much. I'm going to die. I want to die. Don't cheat the game. I hate it. Oh, it's so annoying. I'm okay. I'm definitely using no heals. I'm saying it right here. I'm not using any heals mid battle for the Pokemon League. It's cheating. Especially when you've already got hacks. <sighs> Lift for Aaron down with one Gligar. If it was Gly score, I would have killed everybody in one shot. I probably wouldn't have died. Should have died. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hit for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Well, you didn't have a scissor on your team. That's why you failed. Max potion. Our uh, next is ground. So I want Torterra out in front. Get this man up front using these new, freshly new wood hammers. Beautiful. Continuing on. Let's get it. Elite 4, part 2, or Elite 4, opponent 2. One down. That was quick. We blitzed through that one. Hello, Bertha. Let's go. Well, well. You're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Ah, ha, ha. I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Can do, Bertha. I'm Bertha and Professor Oak, like, real close. No, that's Agatha, the ghost gym leader from Kanto. Never mind. Very similar, though. Except Bertha doesn't need to cane. Because Bertha built different. Look at the... Whatever's on the door in the background. Quagsire. Easy kill. Quagsire is so adorable. Quagsire is such a, a cool looking Pokemon. Like, it's not cool, but just like... I don't know. It's just something about Quagsire that just like makes me happy. Woodhammer. Bang. Ooch. Easy kill. How much recoil is this going to do, though? How much recoil do I take from this move? How much? Oh! 60 health. Good work, Tolterra. Oh, that's so much health. We do have leftovers, though, on Tolterra. And we do have Leech Seed, so we might need to use that. Just to get some more healing, you know? Optimize my health. Stay alive as long as I can. Whiskash? Okay. So, for ones that are four times weak to grass, I'll just kill them straight away. Because I can. But the other ones that aren't going to die in one hit... Surely you still die, even with the berry. Okay. I was going to say, base 120 Woodhammer from my Tolterra doing fat... My hat's not straight. Why don't you guys tell me my hat's not straight? What's that? Oh, so much damage. So we've lost half our health and we've used two moves and we haven't been hit once. That's how Woodhammer works. Because Bullet Seed would have been good, but... I don't know. Not the same. Pseudo Wudo. I could Earthquake, but I don't think it'll kill yet. So I'm actually going to Leech Seed and then Earthquake. Because I don't know it'll kill. Leech Seed. I went faster, which is nice. Cheeky Lemonade. Low Kick. I'm living. Easy. Leftovers. Leech Seed, Earthquake. It may not kill, then I'll Leech Seed will happen again. Get some more health back. This is beautiful. If we kill with Earthquake, even better. Then we don't lose more health. Would be good. I don't want to use Wood Hammer because I don't need to. It'll probably be more likely to kill, but I don't want to take more recall if it's not going to kill either way. So I'd rather use Earthquake and get it done. Surely kill. Beautiful. I don't know if. Oh, we might have had Sturdy as well, so Leech Seed actually was a huge play. Crit didn't matter. Crit did, I don't think the crit mattered. I'm pretty sure it did. My attack stat is through the roof. I know Sudowooka is kind of defensive, but not that defensive. Not bad. We're getting some good levels. Maybe I didn't need to level up to 60. I thought, because I forgot that the XP share gives everyone heaps of XP, not just a little bit. So that's on me. Probably shouldn't need to level up this much. Golem? You're gone, Chief. I'm going to Leech Seed again, just because if he's got Sturdy, and I get some health back for it. I probably won't die to Earthquake. We are slower, though, so we might. Oh, no, we're taking that. Easy. Are we going to sweep each Pokemon League person with one Pokemon each? Actually, no, I can't sweep Flint with one Pokemon. My Floatzel's not strong enough for that. Not quite strong enough to do that. So we live this. And now we've got the Leech Seed health even more than what we had. Beautiful. And now we've got rid of his Sturdy if he had it. We can Wood Hammer, but I don't want to take any more recoil. I might just Earthquake. Hopefully Leech Seed will do the job. Earthquake, we're living. Golem's so cool. I love when he rolls up into a ball. Easy, we're tanking that. Beautiful. Torterra is a beast right now. Imagine if I had Synthesis as well. Oh, and then at least it will top it off. Just get a little bit more healing. Beautiful. Yeah, didn't have to waste taking massive recoil damage. Can still kill with Earthquake. Get more health out of it as well instead of losing health. This is optimal play with Torterra right now. Leech Seed, Leftovers, Earthquake, Woodhammer, Crunch for coverage. Crunch is decent. Hits most things for neutral. 
Some things are special attacks. So even like when we get to Lucian, Psychic, Elite Four, we can hit super effective moves. Beautiful. Hippo down. Okay, so now we just send it with a... No, we're going to... We don't get affected by Sandstream, which is nice because we are ground type. We don't have any rock types though. This is the last Pokemon. This is the Ace. So we're going for a Leech Seed. Surely we live. It's higher level than the rest of the Pokemon, but I think we can live a Hippo down. Mm. We were not living in Ice Fang. No way. In a million years we'll be living that Ice Fang. But there's hacks in this game, so don't even worry about it. Stupid hacks that should not be added and should be removed immediately. Okay, we might kill. Hippodan's very, very bulky. He's got a lot of HP, so I don't know if Woodhammer will kill. And if it doesn't, we'll either die to Recoil and Ice Fang. Or he might die with a crit. I might get more hacks. Never mind. I don't even think we need it. We're just bulky. Big damage. Do we die, though, from Recoil? Do we get free XP or do we lose it? Ah, beautiful. Torterra, you absolute fiend. We got two Elite Fours down in 11 minutes of recording. And I've only used two Pokemon. Just built different. Maybe I didn't need to level up so much. I, I was just too worried about going in and, like, doing well and, like, struggling to beat the first three and four. But then getting rolled by Cynthia. And I didn't want to lose in my playthrough. I only leveled up my Pokemon two or three levels each. Ah, uh, might have been more. I think Heracross was 55. F no, 56. So, yeah, four levels for Heracross. Everyone else was about two or three. Bag. Max Potion on Torterra. Next is the Fire type dude. So we're going to put Float to that front, I think. Bring him out. Let's go. Keen. Two down. Halfway there through the Elite Four. Hello, Flint. What's good? Yo, trainer. You had me counting the days in my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Vulcan what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Let's go, Flint. I love the suspenders, Chief, but I would recommend a haircut. Maybe do a mohawk. That could be really cool. A red mohawk would be sick. Okay, it's Elite, Train uh, Elite 4 Flint. and now Rapidash. Big old yeet. Winds it up. The couplings of Rapidash. The unicorn of fire. Floatzel. I think we're faster. We are attack nature, not speed nature, but I don't think we can even kill because Floatzel kind of trash, not going to lie. Waterfall. We are slower. Poison jab. Wow. Oh, eating that up. Easy. What am I talking about? And we one shot. I'm surprised that I'm slower though, surprising. But Ravnash gone. Beautiful. Who's next? Got a little bit of Shell Bell health, which is nice. Free XP for Heracross and Gligar leveling up. Not bad. Heracross falling behind, as always. Steelix. Okay. Steelix's defense is through the roof. So there's actually no way that I will win this right now. There's no way I want shot. I'll probably die to something. So I'm going to actually go into Gligar. Because I'm not going to hit by an Earthquake. And I can actually set up with Swords Dance. Earthquake. Knock off. Earthquake. Earthquake, I guess. Or Acrobatics. Thunder Fang. Oh, even better. Even better. Okay, Swords Dance. Wait. Do we do, do, we do it twice? Are we real? Do we do it twice? Do we Swords Dance twice? Depends how much this does. <gasps> that did so much. We might not even kill now. That did so much damage. This might not kill. And if he has 30, it definitely won't kill. Didn't even get to 30. A double attack. My play was not... Well, miss, 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 miss. Damn, bro. Steelix it caught me off guard hard. If I had a glass score, maybe I could have lived two Iron Tails. That sucked. Yeah, it's probably going to use... Uh, a healing thing, so I'm not gonna go for Aqua Jet. Don't have to, I'm faster anyway, so I might as well go for the big damage in case something happens. So we're gonna go for the waterfall. Full restore, beautiful. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do like less than half. If Earthquake from Gligar at plus two didn't even kill, this is not doing half health. Wow. Still, like you absolute beast of a Pokemon. I don't have any special moves on my entire team other than Volt Switch. So, this is going to suck. I'll probably die one shot to Thunder Fang. Um, surely, I, surely I live. Surely, surely I live. Shell Bell, not bad. Decent. 9 HP, I'll take it. Whatever I can. Miss. Live. Oh, the stupid hacks. Yep. I was definitely dead. That, I hate it so much. It makes up for me not having um, a Gly score. We'll say that. 
Now he's back to full again. And now we just get half health once again. This is this is not going well. Surely get a flinch next turn. That'll be amazing. If we get a flinch right now, that'll be perfect. Shaky flinch on the Steelix. Come on. Surely. Come on, come on. Flight Sue, I believe in you. Flinch, 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 flinch. Come on. Tasing me like this. Where's the flinch? Come on. Yes! Oh, beautiful! You ask and you shall receive. Later, Steelix. Sorry, Chief. See, that's okay. That's in-game hacks. It should be there. There's a chance to flinch with Waterfall. It can happen. But me living on one health miraculously because Floatzel didn't want to make me sad is bull. Okay, who's next? Laponi. Probably faster than me, so I'm just going to Aqua Jet for a little bit of damage. Aqua Jet? Meow, how much can we just do? That's decent damage for an Aqua Jet. And there was a crit. Oh, see? Why? Give me a crit normally. Don't say it was because I've cheated. I hate it. I cannot stand it. Floats will trash, man. Floats will garbage. If I play again, my next water type is going to be Melodic or something. Oh, so it was faster. So he's priority move as well. Ooh, leftovers? Or Shell Bell? Probably leftovers, yeah. Leftovers. Interesting. Okay, so normal type. We're bringing in Heracross. Let's go. Do we Swords Dance as well? I reckon I'm going to Swords Dance. Unless you have Aerial Ace, I'll cry. Don't have Aerial Ace. Please don't have Aerial Ace. That would suck. Fire Punch. Ooh. Oh, I'm tanking that. Easy. What? Super effective. Less than half. This is killing. I got close combat now. At level 60, I got close combat. So this is easy kill right now. We use PP Max on it as well because it only has five. And we didn't. That's not enough. We need to give him eight. Beautiful. The pony's dead. Next is either Drifblum or Infernape. So if it's Drifblum, I'll stay in and go for a Rock Slide. If it's Infernape, I'll probably switch out because I'm pretty sure Infernape's faster than me. Hmm. That's good, that's good. That's what we like to see. Now I can go for a rock slide. Super effective. Big damage. Surely kill. Surely kill. I'm plus two. Easy. Do I switch out and keep Heracross alive? Who do I switch to? I'd love to have Electivire and Infernape a rematch. Crit didn't need it. Did not need that crit at all. There's no way. No way I need that crit in a million years. I was killing. I'm plus two. Electivire level 62 now. I can't really switch into anyone. I don't have any safe switchings on this team. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering. Because even if I had Float Tool, I'd switch into a Flare Blitz and still get rolled. Okay. See, now we're the same level. Um, I don't know. I don't have anyone that's faster other than Ambipom. And I like to divide on a switch into a move. So I might just keep him in. Go for a close combat now. If I die, I'll switch into Electivire. Fire Punch? Yeah, I'm dead. For sure. If Laponies did just under half... Uh, Inferno with stab and more attack is obviously going to kill. So now we... Ooh. Do I want to use my starter? I'm pretty sure we can live a fire punch. Now, nah, good Electivire. Hit him with the Thunder Wave just in case. You never know. You don't want to get outsped and die. Get swept. So if I live, I should live one move no matter what it is. Thunder Wave. Beautiful. Close combat. I'm living. We do have low defense for our nature, but that's pretty good. So now he's... Defensive's been lowered and he's paralyzed. So this is huge. Now we go for a fat, fat Thunder Punch. Probably won't kill. It's like Cannon. Uh, uh, Electivire did lose to Ash's Infernate. Got the leftovers though. Get a power hack, she wouldn't. We could Volt Switch out into something else, but there's no point. Thunder Punch. Wind it up. Pocket back. Yeet. Oh, almost killed. Close combat. That's all right. Who do I want the XP to give to? Probably not Ampom. ampom has got so much. Yeah, my team is not bulky at all. My team is lacking on the bulk. We lost four Pokemon in this fight. I'm very surprised that Steelix did that well, though. That was a big letdown. If I had Gliscor, would have been fine. Could have swept. Blazing up now. I'm blazing now. We're probably slower, but I'm going for an Earthquake. Oh, the Parahax! Let's go! That's huge. Ladies and Fernet, you're gone. Love to see that. We were living anything, I think. Except maybe, like, a crit Flare Blitz. We would have died. We did not need a crit. He had, like, red health. No need for that. 
See, I don't care. I'd rather them waste the hacks now when they're not needed than actually you it when it matters and I feel cheated. Elite 4 Flint. Uh, whoa! I wasn't expecting this. I was looking down at you, but I didn't think for a second that I'd lose. This is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are inspiring. Flint's really cool. He's one of my favorite Elite Fours. His personality is really sick. Whoo! Burn right down to the cinders. <laughs> hey, he's going through. He's, he's, he's messed up. He's going to have a snooze now. Okay, who's next? Psychic. I think first one is Mr. Mime. Who can Mr. Mime? Who can be good against Mr. Mime? Poison, Steel. So nothing on my team. Nothing on my team. Good to know. Um, I don't even know who I can go into. I guess Heracross. Maybe not. I'm weak to Psychic. I guess I like Divide. Maybe just try and Thunder Punch. I don't really know what I want to do. Well, I'm just start with Floatzel. Floatzel's not going to do much. I should just check that, that there's not like a fire type on Lucian's team or something. Okay, yeah, Floatzel's going to do nothing, so I'm, I'm okay with that. We'll send out Floatzel first against Mr. Mime. And then, this is the th that's three down, one to go. The last Elite Four trainer, the strongest of the four, casually reading. Ah, you time your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Let me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I'm a user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Let's go, Lucian! Let's get I'm Kane. Look at this man suave in his suit. He's got a nice red tux on. No tie, though. Very suave. Not a tux, then. Very nice blue uh, red suit, though. Mr. Mime! Let's get it. What you got? Floatsu, I believe in you. But it's not super effective. I didn't want to waste a heart scale on Crunch. Um, excuse me. So he's going to go for a big waterfall. Stab. Decent damage. My attack stats okay. That's good. That's good. Crit. A natural crit. Reflect. Ooh. Okay. That's annoying. We do have Brick Break on two of my, uh, one of my Pokemon. So we can break it if we need. This should still kill. I oh, know. Maybe crit. It should still kill. Wow, it sucks. That is annoying. And that did so much more damage. And he's going to full restore. I can't even brick break because it's not worth it because, like, oh, he didn't full restore. That's huge. Because, yeah, brick break is, he's psychic and fairy. Would have done zero damage and just broke the light screen. Oh, the reflector. Better off using thunder punch twice. No health for that one, but we didn't use a full restore, which I'm very surprised about. Amipom is still leveling up like a crazy person. So it's going to be pr probably roughly the same levels, otherwise just under, against uh, Cynthia. So Waterfall and Bite actually do the same damage. So this is Stab 80 damage, so it does 120. And this is 60, super effective, does 120. But I've got more PP on Bite, so I'm going to use that instead. If I had Crunch, obviously do more Flinch. Surely a Flinch. Surely a Flinch. Thunderbolt. Wow, Thunderbolt? My lord. Okay, so he's normal Psychic, which means... Dark, I guess. Oh, how? What? Do they have fast Pokemon? Kind of. Kind of fast Pokemon. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Why not? Let's just go straight for I was going to Swords Dance, but I might just knock off instead. That did way less than I thought. Wow. Did way less than I thought. That's a pain. Um. Hmm. Let's just go for an Acrobatics. It's the strongest move I've got. Does more than knock off now, because knock off um, obviously knocks off the item, so it's weaker. We can live two though, which is nice. Nope, we can't live two because they got the special defense drop. That's unfortunate. Should kill, maybe. Damn, you are bulky. So we do die here, unfortunately. We don't have any safe switch ins, so we just got to take this. Oh, Torterra should be slower than Girafferig, which means now in the trick room I'm faster. Yes. Slow boy inbound. And I have Crunch. I forgot I have Crunch on this Pokemon. Huge. Uh, yeah, go for Crunch. I don't want PP on Crunch. Crunch should kill easy. So who... The Pokemon... They've got... I know they've got an Alakazam and a Bronzor. So Bronzor, not too... Bronzong, sorry. Not too worried... My headphones are caught. Not too worried about Bronzong. Alakazam, I do outspeed now if it's... It. That was still... That's why, because it was a Reflect knockoff. Okay, worried about this one. Tip you don't have Ice Punch. If you do, I'll cry. I'm slower. So, oh, slower, so now I'm faster with Trick Room. So I'll go for a Leech Seed. Don't have Ice Punch. Oh, damn it. Stupid. I hate the hacks. I can't stand it, man. It's so annoying. I cannot stand it. So stupid. 
Dimensions return to normal. So we are slower now. So I'm actually going to switch into Electivire. I think I'm faster than Medicam. I'm not too sure. We'll see. We'll see. Obviously, we'll see. I know you can do it, Electivire. You got this. Hit this man with a fat Thunder Punch. Ice Punch is doing nothing. I'm eating that up. <gasps> it did so much. That was neutral. My lord, Medicam is packing a punch. I have to use my Ambipom. Sheesh, that did way more than I thought. And I can't kill with one shot, I don't think. Um, Thunder Punch? I don't think this kills. Come on, come on, come on. Crit. Damn it. High jump. Miss. Damn. That's easy killing. If Ice Punch did like 60%, there's no way High Jump Kick Stab is not. Okay. Amber Pop is fast, so we can go for an Aerial Ace, not miss. It does big damage. The Technician boosted. It's super effective. It's great. Great move to have. Aerial Ace. Really not going to get the chance to lose Low Sweep, which is unfortunate, because I would have liked to, you know, get, use Last Resort. But we can just use Strength now on Alakazam. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough one. This is actually tough. I might lose to Cynthia. I'm a little bit worried. I do have some red candies in my bag that I can use, actually. Strength on Alakazam. We are slow up. Nasty. Oh, no. Not Nasty Plot. Oh, no. I don't have any priority moves. Except Floatzel. And he's dead. Strength. Oh, almost killed. Okay, go for the low Heal? Expecting a heal. No. Okay. I was expecting a heal. Go for the low sweep. Then I can use Last Resort and make sure it kills. Okay, I did kill. I was really worried that I wasn't going to kill for a second. Woo! No one on my team can take a future sight, though. No one can take a future sight. I guess I just last resort. I know it's half effective, but it's still stab. It does more than anything else I got. So I'm actually going to just last resort and do as much as I can to this Bronzon before I die. So we have the same level as Lucian now, but we are weaker than Cynthia. And Cynthia has great Pokemon, so I might have to use some rare candies. Trick Room. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Last Resort did good damage considering it's half times resisted. Come on, come on, come on. Gyro Ball. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh. Did so much damage. That wasn't hacked, so I just lived with two health. Two health. Big damage. That's pretty good. I should put Quick Attack on. Quick Attack. Last Resort. Could be good. That's why I want Fake Out. Fake Out, Last Resort would be huge. Oh, that's good. That's good. Taking the future side now on a 2 health Ambipom is way better than anything else I could have asked for. Does Bronzong have Levitate or Heatproof? Levitate, okay. I had to check because I didn't know that could have been bad. Um, I guess Megahorn. Megahorn might be the play or close combat, but I don't want to lose more defenses. So I'm actually going to... I kind of want to Swords Dance. Oh, Megahorn, it's right. Play it safe. Earthquake. I'm eating that up. Eating that up. Oh, what? Okay, now we're going for Swords Dance. Because after this turn, we should be faster. Again. Back to normal speeds. Oh! I did not expect that to kill. I actually have almost lost to Lucian. I can't lose on my, straight, on my video. Okay. Don't have like a fire move or something. What moves do you have? Gyro Ball, Earthquake, Payback, Trick Room. So I'm slower than you. Which means I'm faster than normally because it's still Trick Room. Which means if I get hit, if I hit you, then you hit me Payback, I'm going to die. I do have Crunch though, which is perfect. Should have brought this person in. Should have brought Tatarian way earlier. Get some heals still, which is nice. Take a little bit of tickle damage. If I get hit with a Payback though, it's going to hurt. I don't think Crunch kills. Let's find out, shall we? Come on, Torterra. Oh, so close. Trick Room. Okay. Lucian hasn't used any heals. I don't think Flint used any either. It was just Aaron. So I'm a little bit surprised. No. Aaron used one, didn't he? On his Steelix. Yeah. So it's just Lucian hasn't used any. Oh, that's the Elite Seed. Huge. I didn't even realize. That's so good. Okay. Guys, the Elite Four is done. Oh. The Elite Four is over. That's four down. Beating the Elite Four, however, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. 
I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Who's okay, I'm so we're gonna we're gonna stop here, don't worry. We are gonna stop it, we're not gonna keep going. So we're gonna start right here. Heal up a Pokemon. Oh mate. Oh, I'm so oh my heart is racing right now. Let's go. Hair cross, done. Gligar, healed. Oh, not quite, but if I had Glass it would have been so much easier. <laughs> Glass would have made such a huge difference. And like I said, I haven't used any heals for the whole league. Like in battle, sorry. No battle heals. But I am going to look who Cynthia starts with, just to make sure. And we do have... Uh, how's everyone's look XP looking? Because I might use some rare candies, just in case. Summary. Mostly done. Torterra could get one. Heracross almost done. Gligar could get one. Like Divine, maybe. So probably just Gligar, I guess. Gligar and Torterra. And Gligar probably needs it because he's the weakest link at the minute. Because he's got lower stats than everybody else. So I might give it to him. Um, look at that. Where the red candies at? Where are my red candies at? There we go. Seven. Wow. Okay. Uh, one. We'll give him two. He's my starter. Makes sense. Gligar, give him two as well. Give one to Electivire. And then one each to Heracross and Floatzel. He didn't have much XP on it, but I'd rather get the levels now. Oh, I use all of them. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry, Floats, all you're slacking. Okay. That. That's it. We're, we're... Leap 4 is done. Oh, I'm so hyped. So excited. Next one is the champion. So that is 4 down. Aaron. Sorry, Aaron, Bertha, Flint, and Lucian all defeated. First two were quite easy. Flint was a little bit trouble, and Lucian actually came down to being close. Cynthia is next. I'm a little bit nervous. Our team is looking okay. Same levels as Cynthia, pretty much. Uh, but Cynthia's Pokemon are much better than mine. Because my Pokemon are Pokemon that I hadn't used before. And Pokemon that I chose to have. Not definitely a good team, per se. Such as Cynthia's, who actually has a really good team. So hopefully you did enjoy this video of me going through the Elite Four. Pokemon League is almost over. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. and greatly appreciate it. Make sure you comment down below your favorite champion. I want to know what your favorite champion is. Uh, yeah, your favorite across all games. Mine probably is Cynthia. I think Lance is actually really good as well in Johto. And I think, honestly, uh, Blue as a rival in Kanto is also really good as well. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload. Obviously, the next one is going to be the champion match, so don't miss that. And as always, take it easy.